So welcome back to the Healing Health High Performance with Bioptimizers. I'm your host, Wade T. Lightheart. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about fats, lessons in lipids, shall we say, good, good fats, bad fats, fats to avoid, fats to incorporate. And we're joined here by, of course, my business partner, Matt Gallant, one of my go-to guys when it comes to understanding fats. Because I want to, before we get into it, I want to share with you, as a former bodybuilding champion, I was kind of conditioned on the, you know, the low fat, high carbohydrate, high protein diet years ago and that, that got embedded into my brain and I've always struggled ever since to incorporate fats into my diet and really that was just a, a limited paradigm in a program that I had to smash through. and. What was interesting is that Matt was one of the guys that really harped on me about essential fatty acids and, 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 and it took me a long time to, to, to really get it. <laughs> and, uh, but slowly but surely I started to incorporate it and guess what, it just improved virtually every aspect of my life and you know it was another tool in my holistic health toolbox. So I'm excited that you're joining us here today and uh, gonna share us some love about lipids. So, so what do you got for us today, Matt? Well, yeah, so Wade and I really come from two different universes back when we were, you started our friendship. You were following a low fat, I mean really, really low fat diet. And I was on the other side, I was doing a, a high fat, low carb diet. So because of my, of my you know, love for low carb, high fat diets. I went really, really deep and researched a lot about fat. So the first thing that I want to talk about is let's, let's remove the fear of fats. You know, your body needs fat. And in, in general, you know, this is true for most people. And there's some exceptions, and I think maybe you might, you're probably one of them. That is, you know, the more fats you eat, the more comfortable your body's going to be at burning fat. Like when you get down to a point where you're threatening the body, you know, when I say threatening the body, if you're really down below 10%, you know, I've been there. You've been there. And what happens is for your body, your body's saying, I don't have the fats that I need to optimize what's going on here. I don't have the fats I need to repair the brain, to repair the skin, to repair the hair, to produce hormones. So it's kind of an emergency situation. Because it's an emergency situation, your body is gonna hold on to fat way more, okay? So that's the first thing that I think should help you alleviate your fear of eating some fat. And we're gonna talk now about what's bad fats, okay fats, and really good fats. So, so, so let's get into that. So before you jump into that, I just want one caveat for, mm -hmm. the, for the listener. Um, let's say you're a guy like me that, that was really low on fats or whatever. What do you think is the ideal time that people are gonna have to go through if they're in, you know, introducing fats into their diet before they kind of like regulate at homeostasis? You know, let's say, because if they start taking fat immediately, they might notice some shifts in their body chemistry. That, that's gonna regulate itself over time. What have you found? What's, what's the time frame? Well, let's take you for an example, yeah. okay? And, <laughs> Right, so I saw Wade go from a, a happy, normal, functioning human being to, frankly, a zombie. Okay, you could, you would have definitely been a great extra on The Walking Dead back then. <laughs> um, you know, he would walk. Wade would walk into the gym, and the lights weren't really on. You know, and he'd go do his workout. I say, Hey, Wade, how's it going? It's another day in paradise, bro. And, and let's uh, qualify that. Yeah. I was in an extreme sure. bodybuilding competition diet for 11 months in a calorie reduced and a radically essential fatty acid reduced sure. program. So and you were training like, hard. Yeah. But I, I, I really think that if we went back there and gave that Wade some solid essential fatty acids and you know, I think you would have not been as deep as I, 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 I concur a hundred percent. So that that's a great example. I think in general, like if you know, and I feel it too sometimes if I'm not, uh, taking my, my omega-3 supplements, I will start fading maybe after a week. I'll, I'll notice a drop-off in, in brain power and make sure you click 
the link and watch our brain food video. Uh, there's a lot of gold there, so make sure you watch that brain enhancement video. And also we have another video, click this link if you're interested in enhancing your brain.